Hello Kimmy Hanta, welcome back to another video. And I wanted to talk about Jump Force today because guess what? A lot of information dropped yesterday. I slept through it because um, I'm, I'm awake during the nighttime, not during the daytime. And when the scans dropped, it was during the daytime. You can put two and two together. I'm a fucking vampire, okay? I'm awake in the middle of the night as opposed to the day. Anyways, we got a scan for Gon and Hisoka being added to Jump Force. And that really excited me. I'm gonna tell you guys why it excited me. Because in, in, in general, as a man, as a guy who played J-Stars, it's not a big deal that they just, they decided to add those two characters that were in the previous game into this one, okay? Yeah, they're two different games, but the way I see it is, Jump Force is kinda like the sequel to J-Stars. That's how I see it, okay? Anyways, on J-Stars, they disrespected the living shit out of Hisoka. Now, you guys might ask me, how did they disrespect him? They made him support only, okay? Hisoka was in the game representing Hunter x Hunter as a support only character. Do you know how much that hurt me? Do you have any idea how much that hurt me? It hurt me pretty bad, okay? It hurt me pretty bad. So, him being playable here is a way of redeeming the character, redeeming what was once J-Star's moving into what is now Jump Force. I love it. Now, people are asking, what happened to Killua though? Because it is not Hunter x Hunter without Killua the God. It's not Hunter x Hunter if you don't hear the words Tenko Seka. You know what I'm saying? I need that man in my life. And I feel what they're gonna do is one of two things, okay? Now, hear me out. I feel like they're gonna do one of two things. The first one is, they're gonna announce Killua alongside another Hunter x Hunter character, and I have three candidates for that other character. Netero, Meruem, or Neferpito, okay? I feel like those are the only three viable other characters that can be paired up with Killua. Just because of how I'm looking at things, we have a Dogon, which, which is his final version. The final arc of Hunter x Hunter in the show was the Chimera Ant side of things, at least for me. That's how I see it, because we're gonna add adult gun. We're gonna add the Chimera and Arc, right? That's what we're doing here. So Neferpito, Meruem, or Netero. I'll be happy with those alongside Killua. If not, the next thing that might happen would be they announce Killua with another character from another show. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they might do Killua and another character from Naruto or another character from Dragon Ball. You, you, you get the gist of it. And you know what? I'm, I'm just super hyped. I don't have my expectations too high. I don't have them too low. I'm keeping it right in the middle. You know, I'm trying to be as kind of like, you know, I'm trying to be as reasonable as possible when it comes to how they might handle the roster. I'm not expecting too much either because usually a lot of people that play these type of games expect this roster to be huge like the Storm games. And that's not how it's going to work out. Unfortunately, that's not how it's going to work out. And I don't know why I'm saying unfortunately, because that's a good thing. Uh, it's a good thing because it's easier to balance the roster out in case any kinks come up, right? Because if you have like a shit ton of characters, it just becomes unbalanced. Anyways, I'm happy that Hunter x Hunter got added to Jump Force. By the way, two more characters got announced as well from the One Piece side of things, which is Blackbeard and Sanji. And automatically you're like, okay, One Piece gets four characters. What other shows might get four characters, right? Like Dragon Ball is a super huge franchise. So it's very easy to maybe say, okay, four characters for Dragon Ball or even more, who knows? And that that's that's the, the part about this game that's kind of weirding me out. It's very hard to kind of predict how many characters from the different shows they're gonna add are gonna be there, okay? Um, and please st stop with the support only character bullshit. For the love of God, don't have support only characters. That's all I'm like, listen, that's one of the few things that I ask out of this game. Don't add support only characters, please, for the love of God. Okay? Anyways, guys, I'm done talking about this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know who do you think Killua might get announced with from the Hunter x Hunter series if he does get announced. I'm out, guys. Peace.